In this section, we're going to be talking about the viewport layout. As you can see, when you start a Rhino document, you have four viewports. Your top view, your perspective view, your front view, and your right side view. Now to better demonstrate this for us, what I'm going to do is draw a square. And in my front view, I'm going to add a sphere. So now, as you can see, we have our top view, front, perspective, and right. If I use my shaded preview here, as you can see, by holding my right mouse button, I can rotate my perspective view and get a good idea of what my shape is going to look like from any angle. The right view, again if I hold the right mouse button down, my shaded preview continues to each viewport I select. Now this object looks the same from the front and from the right side. From the top, it looks different, and then of course from the perspective viewport. Now what if I wanted one of these viewports to be larger? For example, if I needed to do some detailed work on my top viewport. Well, as you can see, my cursor changes to a crosshair when I move to the center of the viewports. I can then hold my left mouse button and drag to increase the size of my viewport. This can be done any way you like, and in fact you can grab one of the walls of the viewports as well and shift it. What this will do is compress the size of the remaining viewports and expand the viewport of your choice. Now another thing that I can do is hold my left mouse button on the word right or the word perspective for example. I hold down the left button. I can actually lift the viewport out of there and move it around. So in a nutshell, the viewport layout system is extremely customizable. In particular, what you will find yourself doing is grabbing at the center, like this, and just expanding whichever viewport you happen to be currently working on. Now I'll go to New. We're not going to save changes. I'll pick No Template, and we're back to where we started.